Unity here, and welcome back to some more Back to the Future, the game. And in the last episode, we got assigned a task by Emmett. We traveled back in time. Wait, no, that was the previous one. We um, went to the soup kitchen, found out how to break Doc out of jail. So now we, we got goals, and we got to get them done. But it's a step-by-step -step process, and the first thing we got to do is go over here to talk to Kid Tannen. Um. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I guess I'm here to shine your shoes, is what you must press. Now that we're here, we can interrogate him. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Now, instead of wasting our time asking all these meaningless questions, we need to click, isn't that Artie's hat? Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> now, we can do, can I have some of those peanuts? Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Now with this split second opportunity, we can click this. Hey kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? You lousy crook! Emmett! Me up. Great that Bob's is Gale Zemeckis. Gale and Zemeckis. Bob Gale and Robert Zemeckis. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me. Not the a streak. coincidence. Get out. Okay. Anyway. So now we have Artie's hat, which is something we can use to get Arthur to come down. I already know where to go, but the area we need to go to is not accessible unless we do this first. Go over to Einstein and then go to our inventory. Click Artie's hat. Click on Einstein. I said... Again, inventory, Artie's hat, Einstein. There we go. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Past the jailhouse is where we need to go. I knew where we had to go, but the thing is, like, if I if I went, tried to go that way, I would have just been walking against a wall. Like, nothing would have happened. Hmm, this place looks familiar. Haven't I seen this before? Huh, deja vu. Yeah, I have. This is the place where we met up with Emma Strickland. But anyway, buzzer. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! 
Now if we go into our inventory, click on Artie's hat again, and give it to him. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay, never mind. I think I may have gotten the order a little mixed up here. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. He's not in our view, smart book. Oh. So now we have to click on him. Someone's playing tricks on what? me. Okay, fine. Be that way. Buzzer. What now? We have to actually click on him this time. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We have to use the same strategy we did on Edna. We have to say that I've got something for you. We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. So now we can buzz him again. And now we can now? actually give him his hat. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Are you kidding me? All right, what do I have it's to do? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Oh, we got some important information. We got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry, some other time. What is so obligatorily obvious about this that I can't pick up on? Dang it, man. All right. Inventory review time. Oh! I forgot a crucial piece. Come on, let's go. We gotta go back. We, we can't say anything to him. But Kid can. So guess what we gotta do? We gotta go back to the town square. And then we gotta um, lure Kid in again. And then using the tape recorder, we can record him saying like, you know, get down or whatever. And then we can go give that to Arthur. I just had to cycle through my inventory. Okay. Since kid's over there, let's go run over. Here we go. This should trigger our next objective. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches! Come down from there, you okay, son of a bitch! now we're going to our inventory. Right. Tape recorder, click on this, and then we click on Son of a in. bitch! Right! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Don't make me angry, Now, Stucko. Get down here and face the Einstein. music! Einstein! Einstein! Help! We'll go barking at their feet. Lay off. We can get down get here. Me, go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. Okay. 
So now, now we can finally go back to um, the apartment place with the tape, with obviously the recording. This we can give to Arthur and trick him into thinking kids down here. See, see, thinking. I just had to cycle through my inventory. I thought there was something else we had to do, but whatever. What now? Now if we go into our inventory, click on the tape recorder with the recording on it. Boom. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! Ah! Where's Kid? Now we can give him... This. I don't think it matters what order we give it to him in. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So it worked. I mean, it, it did work. But, you know, but I mean, you know, Artie's freaking out, but it doesn't matter. Because now we've got to deal with our second objective, which is to get alcohol for the rocket drill. Nowadays, it's no big deal to get. But back in the 30s, alcohol was a big deal. I mean, it was a big deal back then. But anyway. Oh, I hate doing stuff like that. But I won't have to much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. As doubt starts to descend upon Marty. About, about lying about. Anyway. So. This next... It requires a lot of convoluted steps. Um, so let's try talking to Edna first. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. The scoop. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. So this is what we have to set up. What's the Stay Sober Society? What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? So now we have to click on the Brown re Residence. The Brown Residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, 
That's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. So we don't have to worry about the actual meeting for a while. But well, we're gonna set up the soup deliveries soup now. Deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses. Let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. So obviously we can use this to our advantage. I know a charity that needs a soup delivery. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? The Stay Sober Society. The Stay Sober Society. Bless you for thinking of them. But that meeting isn't scheduled to start for a little while. And we wouldn't want them eating cold soup. Oh, right. We don't need to remind her. Okay, so now we have everything set up with Edna, and we don't have to worry about her until the meeting's about to start. And we don't have to worry about that until we get the alcohol stuff set up in the soup kitchen. But that is actually going to be what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Should I leave a like and a comment on the video if you enjoyed. And if you really enjoyed, be sure to click that subscribe button because you leave something out of time. And until next time, this has been a Game Magic 13. Signing off. Dude, excuse me. Saying. Hope you have a great day. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some more Back to the Future. The game. Goodbye.